Hey there, RC fans. It's Big Rich out here in Northern California, Silicon Valley. Very brief tutorial or overview of how I got the Tyrannus X9D and FPV Freerider to work together so I could practice flying drones uh, without crashing them in real life so much. So just uh, to work on my reflexes and, and my flying reaction. So it's very simple. Just take the Tyrannus out, uh, power it up, find an empty slot where there is no model configured so I'm just gonna hit the menu button and I'll go down to 2 here I'll do a long hold on enter and create model then I'll exit out of this first screen and just hit page so I can access the settings first thing I'm gonna do is give this new model a name and I'm going to fast forward through this section so that you don't have to watch me key in uh, but I'm typing the word simulator the way I got the capital S was just holding the enter key after I put the lowercase s. Then I'll press the plus sign to get to the settings at the bottom and the first thing I need to do is change that from master jack to slave and uh, once I've saved that I'll just hit the plus sign a couple more times, get to the fail safe and I'm going to put that on hold. That way I don't get an alert message every time I start up the transmitter with this model. Uh, the failsafe isn't important when you're doing the simulator, but of course it's very important in real life. Now I just verified that it's on the newly created model, and I'll just plug the mini USB cable into my laptop, so of course the standard USB side into the laptop, and then the mini uh, USB side into the back of the X9D. It kind of goes upside down compared to what most devices would do. Now that it's connected, I'm going to fire up uh, FPV Freerider. There is a demo version for free, but I paid for the uh, full app. It's only $5 and it's quick to download. Uh, so hitting calibrate controller and just basically following the on-screen instructions here. Uh, so I just center both sticks, so I'm trying to be very precise here and click the OK button. Left stick all the way to the left center and click OK. Left stick all the way up and center, click OK. Right stick all the way left and then click OK and then right stick all the way up and center and click OK and after that the uh, controller is calibrated you can kinda give it a test here on this screen and when all looks good click OK here and then you can pick uh, one of the different environments to to fly in we'll just go with the basic one this one's also available in the uh, demo version and it works so I can I can fly uh, by the way I press the space bar to get into the FPV mode rather than the line of sight mode and I'm in acro mode right now you can toggle that on and off by just uh, clicking on it on the top left with your mouse so that's basically it it's up and running and uh, the next thing I want to do is get this laptop connected to my goggles so I can kind of practice through the goggles and simulate real life a little bit more I think that this HDMI cable um, isn't working properly because it's not actually broadcasting through the goggles yet, but my computer detects it. So I'll troubleshoot and figure that out. I've read on the forums that this does work, so I think that it's just a problem with this HDMI cable. Thanks for watching.